reacting to the decision of the federal government to borrow funds from China to finance any anticipated budget deficit that may arise from 2016 budgets. Some analysts say even as the loan obtained from China may further impoverish the nation's economy, the move will aid the much anticipated development in Nigeria. Uh, there is nothing uh, wrong with borrowing as long as I'm going to use it for developmental purposes. In fact, it's even more advantageous to borrow for developmental projects. Borrowing has to do with the utilization of the funds you borrowed. If the funds you borrowed are adequately utilized and they're going by the interest rates that you have borrowed uh, as part of your terms, I think borrowing is uh, okay. But uh, if the funds are not well utilized, that's where the problem lies. So it is very advantageous to borrow to finance projects because it gives the government the leverage to finance a number of projects. Speaking on whether the government still needs to borrow, despite the recovered looted funds, the economists say it is more advantageous to borrow than using available funds in the country. Now, by giving you out this loan, when they give the infrastructure, there are a lot of benefits they are going to make. The loan they are going to give is a, has a long moratorium period. That is, it's spread over a very long period of time. Not only that, it has a soft interest. So, in order to benefit and enjoy this, it's better to go for borrowing to fund the budget. After all, it is not actual raw cash that I'm going to give you, but rather it is to be translated and equated into the equivalent of infrastructure that you need to continue or to operate, to utilize in your own. Borrowing is very, very important in financing projects. Even when you have money, even, have, even when you have equity, if you look at the organizations, the organization may have, private organizations may have enough equity to finance their activities, but sometimes borrowing gives you leverage to finance a project without really uh, touching your own equity. Nigeria is currently facing economic challenges due to dwindling oil prices, which also affects the nation's foreign reserves. Nick Luke, Liberty News.